Hey. Today I'm going to share with you a, a rant. And, uh, I guess I'm a little bit hesitant in sharing it because I know it, it's going to make me unpopular with some people. And it's about the state of our fitness industry and the complacency that so many trainers have about doing anything to change it. Yeah. So for example, I, I had a client for a while who um, I didn't realize it. I trained her for about two years and knew she was doing some sort of work and research. And she always commented and wrote sort of nice reviews of our boot camp and said, I really appreciate, you know, your open-mindedness to different styles of nutrition and training and things like that. And uh, anyway, it turned out that she was actually doing some really important research looking at studies around diets and their effectiveness. And when her studies finished and they looked at some 60-something studies on diets and their long-term effects, they only looked at studies that um, looked at dieting over at least 12 months or longer, not ones that just looked at results over 14 days. And what they found, which is not going to be surprising to a lot of you uh, who've been in the industry for a while, is that most people who had done a diet at some point in their life, so like Atkins, Paleo, uh, what's the other one that's out at the moment, 80 10, 10. That one's really popular at the moment. I don't, I don't keep track of them. Um, they found that most people who've done that at the 12 month mark, even if they had lost weight while dieting, they were actually heavier than they were at the end. So if, if these diets don't work long term, then why are people promoting them? Because they're marketers. Their only goal in life is not to help people. Maybe it's to feel like they're helping people because they get some awesome results from some of their clients who do amazing transformations. They want to feel like they're helping people, but they're not really helping people. They're just adding more bullshit that people have to sift through when they're looking at how they can somehow change their life to get healthy. I mean, the truth is, through my experience of four years of being a trainer, five years, Diet and exercise actually play a really small part in someone's health and well-being. A big part is stress. I had clients who would diet and exercise like crazy, and they still couldn't lose any weight, still couldn't change their body type. They were consistent. They did everything right. But they were stressed. They were juggling families, jobs, a spouse that worked a job as well. But no one likes to talk about that. How do you sell a product that says, hey, we'll reduce stress? Maybe because you can't guarantee that someone's going to lose weight or get healthier when they lose stress? I don't know. It's not as sexy as a new way of eating that some celebrity's doing. Or some new exercise that someone who's in power in the industry, someone who's got a lot of clout, who's got a lot of say, who chooses instead to just brand themselves like crazy and promote really shit products, quick fixes. So what's this video about? I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out a trainer. Are you a person who does this? Are you a person who in your marketing material you get photos of people you've never even met before who have ripped abs. You know that that models on the front of magazines diet down just for the magazine shoot? They don't look like that all the time. They know when a shoot's coming up. They diet, they eat in a specific way so that when the photo shoot comes, they look that way. Not to mention then if they're actually photoshopped on top of that. It is an unrealistic expectation of how the human body should look. 
and these are the big wigs in our industry. These are the people who every day Joe Blows go to. So I'm challenging you, do not be like that. Do not be just another misinformed resource out there. Do not be another person who's just out for a quick buck or out to get a quick change in your clients because it makes you feel good. I challenge you to actually care about the welfare of your client. Actually care about where they're going to be in 10 years from now. Are they going to be back doing the same thing that they were doing before? Falling back into old habits because you're not there to look after them? Or are they going to be happier? Yes, happier. Because a lot of people aren't happy when they're dieting. Happier and healthier person for having connected with you in their life. And have a think about what it is and what it's going to take for you to have that kind of impact on someone. If you have people's attention, here I'm going to quote Spider Man. If you have people's attention, and as Spider Man says, or as Spider Man's uncle says, with great power comes great responsibility. You're responsible for the people you train. You're responsible for a lot of the information they get. They trust you. Don't abuse that trust. Don't sell them a pipe dream. Show them that there's another way. That's it for today, guys.